Going green by using and applying eco-friendly technologies and methods is one of the best ways we can do to save our Mother Earth. So having said that, our video for today is all about the most amazing and innovative farming in greenhouses you can't even imagine. Hi, good day to everyone, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And now before we get started, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great videos. And since I don't want to waste any more of your time, here we go with our number one. Number one is Greenhouse Rooftop Farms. Urban green infrastructure includes both natural inputs and artificial supplements, including irrigation, synthetic substrates, and drainage layers. Green infrastructure aims to make cities more resilient and less dependent on outside resource inputs through more efficient use. Over the past two decades, these constructed ecosystems have expanded to include green roofs, elevated urban parks, and rooftop vegetable farms. Number two is growing tomatoes indoors less water and no soil. With climate change and rising populations, we have to find more sustainable ways to farm our food. Are hydroponic greenhouses the key to farming's future? No soil and no flavor, tomatoes bred for color durability for shipping and uniform size. Ironically, tomatoes grow like weeds we used to see them growing in the sidewalk cracks. Growing tomatoes indoors with 94% less water and no soil with climate change and rising populations, we have to find more sustainable ways to farm our food. Number three is South Korea develops new greenhouse. A type of new greenhouse has been developed and is being tested by the South Korean government. Experts say the new facility can boost the nation's ginseng production despite harsh weather conditions such as heavy downpours, heat waves, and typhoons. When fully commercialized and installed, experts forecast the new greenhouses to help boost ginseng production. Number four is organic farming, supersized. In just few years, Spain has become the undisputed leader of organic farming in Europe. The Almeria province is the heart of the continent's intensive agriculture and has seen the proportion of organic farming explode over the last decade from 1.4% to 10.3%. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and sweet peppers have become staples of organic farming in Almeria.
around 80% of this organic produce is exported elsewhere in Europe, where consumers hail the label as a symbol of sustainability. Number 5 is China's Most Advanced Intelligent Greenhouse A world-leading high-tech smart greenhouse entered trial operation recently in East China's Shanghai. Construction was completed on the Chongming Modern Agricultural Park, covering an area of 56 hectares. The park is composed of five giant greenhouses, which are expected to welcome visitors. Number 6 is Living by the Light in a Glass House What would it be like to live in a glass house where you and your body are aware of every minute of daylight? In Bornholm, in an often dark and wintry Denmark, a team of Oxford University researchers is trying to find out in its investigation into the health benefits of daylight. In particular, the team of scientists want to find out how large amounts of daylight affects circadian rhythms, sleep quality, and mood. And that's all there is to it for today. If you found this video wonderful, please like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.